Hey there, in this video I'll show you how to solve the network design problem of SC Consulting. Before I start, make sure you understand the problem and let's begin. I always start with the given information, in this case is the fixed cost and I highlight it in blue to make sure that afterwards I do not get confused in my model. The second thing that I'm, I'm going to do is to read what the question is asking me. Here he asks for a minimum cost, uh, where the company should locate the offices and how many consultants per office. This means I already have my two decision variables, which are the numbers that will be changed by solver and also my objective, which is to minimize total costs. In my spreadsheet, I'll start with the decision variables. First one will be the table. I'm just going to copy this to create the new one. Here I will say from, since the consultant will be going from one of the offices to the client. Here I will be writing to. I advise you to make it a pattern. So in the end, your model looks clean, but this is not mandatory. It will not affect the final result. Here, I'm going to highlight this in red for you to know that this is going to be the decision variable in solver. And also, I have to write the sum of each line and column because I will use this for my possible constraints. The first constraint that I have is the demand. So here my total travels to the client in Washington must be 40 these both I'm gonna drag over here perfect and below here I have the um, I also have a total Oops, let me write it here all right and the total here from the office should be the capacity of the office. However, in the letter A, he doesn't he didn't say whether each office has a capacity of mm, let's suppose 10 consultants such as letter B. So in this case, uh, it will be easier because we can just create that they have a capacity of let's say uh, a million consultants could be infinity but of course it's not it's going to be too expensive for the demand that they have so in this case it doesn't really matter and I'm just gonna say there's more for you to understand uh, it can be minor or equal than this capacity all right so after I also have to decide whether to open or not the offices in the four possible locations. So in this case, I'm just going to copy the possible locations and turn this into a decision variable cell. Here, I'm just making my spreadsheet uh, an understandable model. And after, I'm, I'm going to run Solver and that's what makes it really count. Uh, whether we have to to put a constraint here, uh, we could have a constraint here for the capacity. Uh, so in this case, if Los Angeles decides not to open, the capacity here won't be a number uh, close to infinity, it would be zero. So in this case, I'm just going to write constraint. Here, I state the uh, total 
which is exactly what my table gives me. And here, I'll state my capacity constraint, which will be the capacity times whether it's open or not. It means either it will be zero or one. Finally, we have the objective of my model. In this case, I'll have minimum total costs. First cost that we have is fixed cost. And the second one is variable cost. Fixed cost is whether I open or not the office. So it will be the sum product of places that I have open times the fixed cost. Of course, this, this is proportional. OK, and the variable cost is also the sum product of the amount of travels that I execute from one of these locations to these clients times the price the travel cost. And to finish, total cost, which will be the sum of these two. I will highlight this as it is my final objective. So now we only have to run solver, set the objective, this cell. I want to minimize total cost, changing variable cells. The first will be the number of travels that each consultant will make from each location. And also, we have these cells. When it comes to the constraints, we have to add the demand, which is equal. It's the number of consultants demanded to each client. We have this capacity. I'm going to add two capacities here. Uh, this one that I, I'm adding right now, it wouldn't be mandatory. I think that Solver would run only with this, this one that it is in the constraint. But just to make sure I'm going to add both. This is my binary line, means either zero or one. Finally, I'll add integers to these cells, since you cannot have one consultant and a half going from one place to the other. Simplex LP. And run this over. So this is the final result. Also, he asks for how many consultants should be allocated to each office. Therefore, consultants needed is equal to 675 over 25. What can be understood is that they will open the office in Denver. 675 travels will be needed to attend all the clients in these states. And they, they will need 27 consultants since each consultant can make a maximum of 25 travels per year.